Yeah. When I look at your shelf, I I I I, I realize that there are very few Kenyan or East African titles. Mm-hmm. Um, why is that so? Okay. Uh, let me let me let other people judge you. This is few, <laughs> <laughs> but this up to up to here, this is my entire Kenyan yeah. collection. Um, and sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. I I think I think um, this is Kenyan in East Africa. This is Somaliland, but the rest of them are Kenyan. When you present your book to me as a reader, I need to, I need to love how the book looks. I need to love how the book feels. Unfortunately, for my case, sometimes I feel like I struggle with the kind of production of Kenyan books. Like either the print is off or the quality is off. And I'd rather not buy a book until it's out in an edition that I can appreciate. I give you this book specifically because even this one, look at how beautiful this book is. Even if I'd never heard about Troy Onyango, or if I have never re- read anything by them, this is a book that would draw me to them. As shallow as it sounds, it's something that matters to me. Mm-hmm. I've had that problem with a lot of books. Honestly, if the if the quality of the print is not appealing to me mm. i will not buy the book so maybe that's maybe that's a problem but also apart from just the quality of the books i buy i buy books that the story appeals to me so if um patriotism aside i will not just buy a book because it's by a kenyan author mm. it needs to be a story i want to read so if i get crucified for this or not I'm just speaking my truth.